Good morning. My name is IT2 Villalobos. I'm an ACFL here at the Naval War College. Today I'll be giving you a full body workout demonstration that you can do in the comfort of your own home. Before we do the workout, make sure you're properly hydrated and warmed up. Let's get to today's workout. So for today's workout, I'm going to be doing a full body workout to end your week on. We're going to be doing back and some legs. We're working the transverse plane because everything we do in life, we're either reaching for something, going for something down there, I just want you to get used to doing workouts that encompass your whole body in case you don't know how to utilize or separate your workouts during the week. So we're going to be doing our back and our legs and we're going to be demonstrating supersetting workouts with pull-ups and various forms of squats. So this is all going to be in one session that you can do at your home. It's going to be 20-25 minutes max. If you're not able to do a pull-up or a chin-up and if you don't have the home equipment such as a pull-up bar that you can get at Walmart or Amazon in your house, I'm going to demonstrate the alternative way of utilizing your lat muscles in your back by using a household item that you might have such as a backpack. So first part of this workout we're going to be doing is we're going to be doing pull-ups superset it with various forms of squats. Now we're gonna do this for five rounds, we're gonna do this for five sets. If you're able to do the pull-ups, I want you to do that till failure because over time, the more pull-ups you're able to do, you'll be able to do more repetitions of that, the better your technique and form is doing the workout. So after pull-ups, we'll go into the workout with the legs with various forms of squats. I'll go ahead and demonstrate for you the pull-up, the proper technique. Remember when you get up on the bar, I want you to cup the bar at your house or wherever you have the availability to do pull-ups. Cupping the bar is a lot better than grabbing it fully intentionally because when you cup it, you're actually activating a lot more of the lat muscles, your rear deltoids, and the traps, and every other part of your transverse plane that you're working when doing the exercise. Remember, chest out in the air so you really feel that contraction on your back. So let me go ahead and demonstrate. So when you do the pull-up, remember as many as you can. If you're struggling on your pull-ups, a good technique to do is to just hang there for a little bit. You want your body, you want your back muscles to be used to doing something that most people can't do to begin with. So if you're able to do that and practice it over time, you'll get better with the pull-ups. So let me go ahead and demonstrate to you the alternative method of working out your back. So I'm going to be using a backpack. You can fill this up with anything you'd like to make more resistance so when you do the exercise. So these are rows, lat rows. Go ahead and get in your squat stance. Have your backpack out like this. Looking up, remember, bring the backpack up to your chest. Really feel the lats contracting on the way up. Go back down, bring it up, do that. Do that for about 10 repetitions. You can challenge yourself by doing it till failure, or if you want to put a lot of weight in your backpack, less repetitions get stronger, build more power, and in doing so, building more muscle over time. So that's the first part of that workout, doing pull-ups or the lat rows, and then you're going to superset that with various forms of squats. So what we're going to do is we're going to do five goblin squats, or as I'd like to call half squats, followed by five regular squats, then followed by five resistance squats all in one motion. So the goblin squat, or as I like to call the half squat, is more of an explosive moment. So when you get into your stance, remember proper technique. Most of the time, we go all the way down on the squat, really get the contraction out of the glutes. A goblin squat, you're more or less going halfway down, but coming up very fast. This emphasizes a lot of fast twitching fibers in your quads, your hamstrings, your glutes. So when you do it like this, you're getting that blood flowing, building that muscular endurance. You're gonna do five of those, so five goblin squats, halfway down. After those five, you're gonna get into your stance, straight down, five regular squats, remember, all the way down, up, contract the glutes, come back down, go back up. So five goblin squats, five regular squats, followed by five resistance squats, so slow all the way down, let it sit there for a second, explode back up. So five, five, and five, total of 15 squats. You then, if you need to take a break during any point of this exercise, please do so. You don't have to go back and forth. If your muscular endurance over time will get better to allow you to rest less. I'm just putting out different options for you. If you need to take a minute, 45 seconds, however long you need to take, I just want you to do the workout properly and that'll complete today's workout. 
Thank you for coming with me today on this workout that we did with our full body, working our back and our legs. Make sure that you utilize these workouts into every day of your workouts, mixing it up with other workouts you see on the videos that we have demonstrated. Make sure you're practicing proper hydrating techniques, stretching, and the proper nutrition to stay as healthy as you can. I'm IT2 Villalobos from the Naval War College, and we'll see you next time.